Good afternoon, everybody. I noticed that Eric just gave me a promotion, and I certainly thank him for that. Governor, thank you for being here. Christopher, another great job. You will be listening to a speaker, Dr. McAfee, in a little bit that uh, I heard a few months ago, and he is very, very inspiring. Listen to him closely because he talks about children and believing in children. And I can tell you that the city of Manchester believes in its children. Four years ago, we brought City Year to Manchester. We brought four teams that were going to mentor children in four schools, Beach Street, Bakersville, Gosler Park, and McDonough. I can tell you that those mentors have gone into those schools and made an incredible difference in the students that are there because they believe in them. They believe in every child. We have now taken on a new task. We have instituted a four-year high school at the School of Technology for students to go in and participate it's the only high school of its kind in the entire state. And it talks about allowing students and believing in students that they can move at a pace, whether it takes them two months or three, to move through the process. Probably the most exciting thing that we will be unveiling in September is Steam Ahead Manchester. It's a program that Mayor Baines has been working on for the last five or six months that we will be instituting at West High School. Not STEM, but STEAM. Because in Manchester, we believe the arts are in, an important part of education. So, Governor, I would hope in due time that task force that you have put together, we change the name to Steam Ahead New Hampshire, because I think, again, the arts are important for students. And we're going to be meeting with business leaders in the next week, because we have promised the 75 freshmen that will be starting in the program will have an iPad in their hands at the first day of school. And I know that when you talk about education and students, the business community is always there to help. I was taught at a very young age by my father that every child is savable. They just need somebody that extends a hand and is willing to help them. Believing in children is a wonderful thing. If you believe in them, you will give them opportunities. When you give them opportunities, they will thrive. There are two events, not that I don't look forward to every event, but there are two events during the course of the year that I really look forward to. The graduation at the Jolliker School, which I attended today, where there were 13 students that graduated and they are given an opportunity. And it means a lot to them. Tonight, I won't be able to stay for your entire meeting. I've got to leave because the Earn and Learn program has graduation. And those students have businesses that support them and allow them to work while they go to school. I always learn interesting facts when I go to that graduation. As a matter of fact, for the last four years, I've told every graduating class that life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. And that slogan I found on a poster at the Earn and Learn graduation. Those are students that if you believe in them, the opportunities are there for them. 
If you give them a hand up, they won't be looking for a handout. So I thank the Charitable Foundation and all the work they do. I think we're even talking to them about the STEAM Ahead program. And that's a great thing. And certainly all of you, as mentors, and having the ability to give a hand up is important. So enjoy your meeting. Thanks for coming to the great city of Manchester, filling up the Radisson. And you know, I can't believe you can get this many people to a function without feeding them. But thanks for coming. <laughs>